All right, let's check out the, uh, let's simulate through the date. Check out November 4th, the Daily View. Grizzlies beat the Clippers, 114-99, led by uh, Batista, or the Clippers led by Batista, 25, four and three. He was one of five from downtown. DeHaiti had 16 points, nine rebounds, three assists, two steals. 12 points for Phelps, 12 for Mann. Manny had 10. The Grizzlies, Kyle Bree, 33 points, nine rebounds, two assists, 15 of 19 from the field, three of five from downtown. He also had six offensive rebounds, six. Jay Rubin, 16 and 10 with two assists. Hines, 15, two and eight. 13 and 12 for the double-double for Jordan Ames. He also had six assists. Hobbit, nearly a double-double, 10 points, nine assists. And 10 points for Stanton. Uh, Pistons are 7-3 after a win against the Kings. 107-91, Nathan King-Carter continues to put up huge numbers, averaging over 30 points a game. This man is absolutely going off. Let's see. Currently averaging 32 points per game. He puts up another 32-point performance. Three rebounds, five assists, two steals. 12 of 18 from the field, 6 of 8 from downtown. Uh, Z Tally, 16 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists. God damn, nearly a triple double. That's that's badass. Wade, 14 points. I mean, Nathan King Carter absolutely carried this team. Holy shit. The Kings, J Jimmy Bones, 20 points, 7, re uh, seven rebounds, 2 assists. 15 and 12 for CJ White. Walrus, 13 points. Two rebounds, five assists. Five of 14 from the field. Hendricks, 11, 10 for Eagle. Four blocks. But the Kings fall to the Pistons. Uh, Timberwolves and Mavericks. Mavericks get the win. Seventh win of the season, 103 91. Timberwolves, uh, Arcade had 19 points, eight rebounds, one assist. 19, 14, and six with two steals and four blocks for Unmod Mini. Are you kidding me? Poor guy was trying to do it all. 17 points, two rebounds, eight assists, four steals for Schultz. Yield added 11. Snick led the Mavericks. 23, nine and four with two steals and two blocks. 16 and seven for McElmo. 16 and 11 for Mendelowitz. 12 points for James, 10 for Greg, and a double-double. Coming from Gamer, 10 points, 14 boards. Uh, Warriors get the win, 109, 108 over the Nuggets. The Nuggets, something Wong had 22 and 12 with four blocks. Another double-double for a White, 18 points, 11 assists. Another double-double for Joe, 17 points, 10 assists. Jesus, 13 points for Allen. Marsh, 12 points, three rebounds, nine assists, four steals, and three blocks. Not enough. The Warriors outlast them. Behind uh, Buddy Graves is 25 points, nine rebounds. Pueblo Escobar, 17 points, seven assists, three steals, five rebounds. Black had 13 with six assists. A double-double for Johnson, 13 points, 14 rebounds, four blocks. And Henriquez added a double-double of his own. Paladin. 13 assists. Hunt, 11 points on 5 of 14 shooting. And that is the final game of the day. November 4th. Wrapped up, boys. All right. So now, let's check out... That's the end of... Uh, actually, we should have some new season awards. We do. Your Eastern Conference Player of the Week is Nathan King Carter. And your Western Conference Player is Sniper Cat. I want to check out how those two boys did. So let's see, uh, Nathan King Carter. What team does he play for again? He plays for the Pistons and the and the Jazz. And the and poor, are you, poor Sniper Cat puts up Player of the Week, and we didn't even get to watch one of his games. Let's see. Let's check out the Pistons statistics, player stats. Nathan King Carter. Let's check out his recent games this week. Recent games. This week, he puts up a 50-point game and a loss, a 35-point game and a loss, and a 32-point game and a loss. 
He's averaging 32 points per game. His worst game, 26 points. No, 23 points in the opener, but he got injured. He didn't even get to play. Oh, no, he did play a full 38 minutes. Absolutely playing out of his mind. He will be our league's leading scorer if he can just continue to stay healthy. All right, let's check out uh, the Jazz. Oops. Uh, hello? Did I skip him? Where the heck are the Jazz? There they are. Sniper Cat averaging 24 points a game this week. Four games, 26 points, 14 boards, three assists, two blocks. 43 points, 14 rebounds, and an assist. 24 points, four rebounds, one assist, two steals. And in the last game, 27 points, 20 rebounds, two assists, one steal, four blocks. Holy shit. Cybercat playing out of his mind. Out of his mind, the power forward. He's averaging 24.6 points per game, 13.4 rebounds. Shooting 52% from the field. Sniper Cat doing it all. God damn. That is the type of big man. He's a one-of-a-kind big man. Your league leaders after this week. Still, Manuel Vega leading the league. 31.3 points per game. Lil Dip, 29.1. Young Diesel, 26.6. Golgi Snip, 25.4. And Mark the Shark, 25.4 as well. Your leading assist leader... Your assist leaders are Michael Kostic, 11.2 assists per game. Two quick in bed, 11. Isaiah Yeet, 10.9. Michael Seafelt, 9.6. And Sullivan O'Neill, 8.9. Steals. Actually, let's check out your rebound leaders. Clifford the Big Red Dog, almost averaging 15 boards a game. Hugh Johnson, 13.4. Sniper Cat, third on the list, 13.4. Wildman 12.4 and uh, B Dash Johnson 12.2. Jay Wallace 3.1 steals per game. Caustic 3, Brumfield 3, Nip 2.8, and Vikingston 2.6. Blocks. Oh my god. John Kearns 4.1 blocks a game. Let's look at his recent games. Nine blocks. Three blocks, one block, five blocks, five blocks, four blocks, three blocks, three blocks. Nine blocks in his last game in a win against Phoenix. He can't shoot the ball, but this man can frickin' block. Literus at 2.9, Hendricks 2.6, Johnson 2.6, and Wong 2.5. Who's leading the league in three-pointers made? Let's check it out. Lil Dip, 4.9 threes a game. On 8.7 attempts, he's shooting 56% from behind the line. Siesto in second, Nip in third, Mark DeShark in fourth, and Post Malone fifth. Brandon Siesto taking the most attempts, though. 11.2 a game. Free throws made, Vega. Most 6.6 .6 free throws made a game. A ton of people shooting 1,000%. 100%, 1,000%, 100% from the line. Uh, what else do we want to check out, boys? Is that everything? Let's check out uh, social media. Graves was feeling it on the offensive end tonight, posting a career high, 25 points. Mavericks down, Timberwolves, Thielen, 70, dude, he's shooting 75% from downtown the last three games. It's actually insane. Let's see. Two of six, two of two, one of one. Wait, really? That's 75%? Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. That's lame. That is lame. People still healing up. There's only three people actually technically out. So that's good. Everybody else, day to day, kind of, you know, if they need to play, they can play hurt. No big, no big deal. No big deal, boys. Is there anything else we should check out? Or is that everything? Dude, I know GC0. They are so annoying, man. Power rankings. Yes, let's check out the power rankings. Good call. Power rankings. No, they're still the same. They're still the same. They haven't changed. Well, how often do they do the power rankings? I thought it was every week. 
Or did, oh no, maybe it did. Maybe it did change. Did it change? No, I don't think it did. It still shows Chicago Bulls at 5-0. and We know the Chicago Bulls are not 5-0. and So it hasn't updated that. Check team stats. All right, let's check out the teams. Team stats. Wins, 8-1 Trailblazers. Points per game. Portland Trailblazers, 119.4. Bucks in second. Bulls in third. Rockets and Hawks. Points against. Oh, God. The Bucks are allowing 119.2 points per game. The Pistons with the best defense, 96.6. The lowest points allowed per game. They're 7-3. I mean, they're, they're just playing good defense, boys. They're playing great defense. Field goals made. Bucks are in the lead. 45.7 field goals made per game. Pacers, 92.4 field goals attempted. The Warriors shooting 52% as a team from the field. There's a lot of teams shooting over 50%. The Hawks, man. The Hawks love to shoot that three ball, boys. Averaging 15.2 threes a game. But they are four and five. The Spurs, 14, 12 for the Suns. Goddamn. They also average 36 attempts from downtown. 44% from downtown for the Pistons. The Blazers, 44% as well. Free throws made. Trailblazers getting to the line. 21. Actually, getting to the line. They make 21.2 free throws a game. The Hornets, best of getting the line. 28 attempts a game. And 87% from the line as a team for the Blazers. Goddamn. Goddamn, boys. Uh, all right. I think that's... I think that's good. I think that's real good, BBs. Hell yeah. Uh, less is more. What's up, buddy? Thank you for the tier two five months. I appreciate you, Brosif. Yes, Red Blue, this is an 82-game season, man. This is most definitely an 82-game season. And we are currently uh, three weeks into it. A lot of basketball left, boys. A lot of basketball. I'm actually really excited to get to the All-Star break. Because I want to watch all the events. I'm so excited to watch the three-point contest, dunk contest, and just see who wins and does well. It's going to be so good. We got a lot of weeks to go, though. Lots and lots of games, lots of weeks. It'll take some time, but it'll be good. It'll be good. If only the Blazers could be that good IRL. Dude, I know, right? It hurts my soul, man. It hurts my soul. But what can you do? Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it if the Blazers are 8-1 and... One and First in the in the their best team in the league right now. They're pretty freaking good. They they lost to the Pacers. They lost to the Pacers. What are the Pacers record? Are the Pacers a good team? Pacers are seven and two. And they're the first okay, so the only team that has beat the Blazers is the team that is the first in the Eastern Conference. The best team in the Eastern Conference beat the Blazers. And it was a three point game. So the next time the Pacers and the Blazers play, which is, oh shoot, it's not going to be, it's not going to be for a while. They might not even play him again. January 18th, we are watching that game. We will be definitely watching that game. That's a ways out. Uh, I kind of want to just look at the daily view. Who's playing in this? I want to. I want to say I want to see who's playing in this in this on this day. Any we got any really good matchups? The Jazz. Hey, there we go. That'll be the next game we watch. That'll be the next one. We're not going to do it now cuz it starts a whole new week. I don't really want to start a new week. Then we'll have a clean week. So, but next game Sniper Cat is yours. So, we'll make sure to be there the next time we play GG the do the GGBA. The Jazz will get game one in the next episode, I promise. I promise. <clears throat> yeah, it'll be stealth versus, uh, wait. Yeah, it is. It'll be stealth versus uh, Sniper Cat. Should we do it right now? Should we do one more game? You guys are both here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's finish out this game. Let's do one more game because we we got it. Let's, let's knock out the Jazz game because that is the only team we have yet to watch. Sniper Cat's been patiently waiting. I'm not going to make him wait another day. Let's do it. 
Let's do it right now. Grim Daddy P, thank you for the three years, my man. Three years? Grim Daddy, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so very much. And little Noah. What up, little Noah? Welcome back, bro. Sip. Thank you for the two months. He says, love the stream, my man. Hey, I appreciate that, dude. Thank you. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Winner keeps mod, Goldie. No, no, no. No, 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 no. All right. Uh, we're going to play this game. Boom. Play. Houston Rockets at, or no, the Utah Jazz at the Houston Rockets. The ninth overall. Dude, why is there so many ninth overalls? That's like the ninth, ninth overall I've seen. It's always changing, I guess. And the third overall, Houston Rockets. All right, here we go. Uh, you know what? I kind of want to do some unis. I want to do some unis. Statement, sure. Classic home. Ooh, oh, I like those. Let's do that. I like those old classic Rockets jerseys. All right, this will be the last game of the day. Here we go. It's the 2K Dad, coach, anyway, you put me show. in partway through the season, just make my player a pleb. Oh, I can't, Porsche fan. I'm sorry, man. It's not fair to everybody else. To to there's a lot of people who are already on in line, and there's already a bunch of people who are uh, who already submitted their characters, bro. So. It'll be the Houston Rockets. All right, boys, new Utah game. Jazz. We got the Rockets Utah, hosting the Utah Jazz. This is the very first time we're going to be watching the Jazz. This is the only team that is left on the to watch list. Is he picking his nose? Signing their young talent to contract There's no A. Hey, the only young talent you need to focus on for the Utah Jazz is the one and only Sniper Cat, who had a, a, an incredible game. He put up like 27 points and 20 rebounds in the last one. He got player of the week, and now he's battling the Houston Rockets, trying to lead his team to victory. Can Sniper Cat do it again? Find out now. All right, all right, let's go, boys. I want to see this game. Get out of here with your intros. We don't see that. Justin Jackson, Ghost Guy, Connor Boston, Cybercat, Molester Jr., Kai Jen, A4, Ben Magnum, Stealth, and OJ Brock. Can Stealth get another triple double? Uh, the Roos with the 10 months is almost a year. Oh, boy, also, my name is pronounced Roos like a rhyme. I got you, man. The Roos Goose. Oh, man, thank you for the 10, brother. That guy is ugly as shit. Is that Smoochie? No, Smoochie's bald. Never mind, that guy's better looking. Here we go, boys. Sniper Cat. He's the man to watch in this matchup. Damn, Stealth. Okay, Stealth. Okay, Stealth. I thought Stealth was just going to hit him with a dunk. I want to see a good, clean fight. Houston and Utah. Stealth with the behind the back. Pass out to Jen for three. Doesn't get it. Ooh, the offensive board and the foul. Brock gets him another opportunity. You don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. OJ Brock almost averaging a double double on the year. Needs to get his points up. He's missing free throws. That's not going to help him. Misses them both. That's a good foul then by the defense. Uh, Ink Dragon, thank you for the three months, dude. Welcome back, brother. Appreciate you, bro. Ooh, corner three for Utah. It's, that's money. Who is that? Who was that? I guess we'll find out. That was a sniper cow already, was it? Stealth. Ooh, with the left hand, doesn't get it to go. This, of course, their first opportunity over to, to Boston this season. And they really took care of business against this group Boston on the block, out to Guy. Oh, it was Guy. Okay. Now here's Jackson, guy hit that three in the corner. Picked up 12 points in their last win against this Jackson. Toronto. Guy again in the corner. Here's G. Just five to shoot. Oh, good That's little sidestep move. And he doesn't get it to go. He got a good look. Now we'll go to David Aldridge Not a great shot. Kaijin, step Tony back. David. Down low to Sniper. Oh, no, Sniper Cat with the steal. Fast break, two on one. Over to Jackson. You can't miss that. He gets his own board. The block. Oh, my God. The defense from Houston right now. Too good. Too strong. Is it talent? Is it effort? Well, they're still trying to figure it out. Kevin, back Jackson. Oh, oh, an ugly shot. Thank you very much. And it goes out. Ooh, yikes. I don't want to be seeing that. <laughs> I think Fork shoots like that, too. 
Houston still looking for their first basket. That's not how you're going to get it. That's a turnover. Well, that's an example of two teammates on a different page. Utah will They're take that. looking at each other like, hey, what, what was going on there? God, Jazz what gone, is going on? Five from the field to start the what quarter. is going on with Houston to start this game? You know, I definitely thought Houston on was going to be one of the better teams in the league. They got a Jackson losing record. They haven't G. been playing very well. They've been dropping Pass too many to games. Out. Molester Jr. wide open three. He's out of the ball. That's a 6 0 lead for Utah. Right out of the gate. All right, Stealth, you got to get your teammates involved, my man. You missed a triple double. Look at Stealth trying to show off a little bit. Over to Kai Jen. Kai Jen's a little, he's a little man. He's a little man, but he got a big heart. The defense, way too strong from Sniper Cat. Sniper Cat pushing it up. Ooh, he's going to pop the mid-range shot. Sniper Cat hits it. The block in the basket on the other end, and Utah jumps out to an 8-0 lead. Sniper Cat on fire. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Houston needs something, man. Pass down low to Brock. Good look, the assist. And Brock picks up two. Just getting our feet wet here in the early season, but Doris... The talented teams that aren't coming together yet. How long do you think? Ooh, I like this, man. I like the battle between Stealth and Sniper Cat. Molester Jr. with a good move. The block, though. Great defense again by Houston. Stealth over to Fork for three. In and out. Oh, man. Stealth is making some great passes. If only his team would hit some shots. This man would be well on his way to his triple-double. Adjust starters versus those who are coming off the bench. What's our rotation? Who's getting what kind of minutes? I would certainly Keep feeding the ball to Sniper Cat. He's the hot hand. Molester Jr. Fade away. Oh, God, that hit the backboard. Kaijin pushing it up. Decides to slow it down. So it's the Rockets now. They trail by six. There's the pick. Stealth looking for the open man. The He's got Ryan six so seconds. Over to Ben Magnum for three. He's not game. able to hit the three either, man. Houston not looking good to start Jensen this game. Nobody's making a the shot. G. The fact that it's only a six-point game is very good for Houston. Jackson around the screen. Good steal by Brock. The Houston defense is keeping them in this game. The pass from Fork to Magnum. And they get another easy layup. They won't be down for long if they can get some more early offense like that. All right, four point lead for the Jazz. Four people are about to be coming in. Let's see if the starters can get a basket. Add to this lead. Pass out to Sniper Cat. The guy down low to Molester Jr. He's going to step back and miss. Good defense. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Magnum over to Jen. Boom! The little man lift off in the dunk. The Rockets need that. They pull within two. Here we go. Houston bringing it back after a bit of a slow start. We got a game, boys. I think the defense here has just been too strong for both teams. Pretty low scoring game thus far. Oh, a whole new lineup for the Jazz. Lansowski, Reynolds, Ice. Reefer. You better go up with that, man. You're giant. The defense. Houston again with the stop. Holy fuck's in the game. He's a great shooter. Oh! Huge block. Get out of here, Reynolds, on the fast break. One back steps up and hits the jumper. Little General's got his first basket of the night. Oh my god. Holy poop got destroyed right there. What you doing trying to pull up in his eye? 34 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here's trying to get break. something going here. Points for him the last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. Myers. Oh, good pass slim. inside to Zabel, and he gets it. Nice Two-point game. All right, the Jazz. Look at Little Wolf. Presence. He looks like a wolf. Look at the beard. Look at the hair. Here's Champ. He's coming off a 13-point game Ten seconds Toronto. left in the first. 
holding for the final shot. Who's gonna get it? Utah Jazz up by two. Wolf putting on the moves. Razzle and dazzle, and he pulls up. Gets it to go. Hand in his face, no problem. And the Jazz take a four point lead at the end of one. All right, we got a game. We definitely have a game. I was a little worried there. Klansowski got a great block right there. Such great defense coming out of Utah right now. We've got more NBA basketball. Actually, both teams are playing phenomenal defense. I think that's why this game is so close. It's hard to score on these people. 12 8 at the end of one. A very low scoring game. Start of the second. Here we go. Jazz leading by four. And the Utah Jazz back in 2014, the worst offensive team in the league by points per possession. Frank, it's been a dramatic Her wide open. Oh, bad pass and down low. Porter picks it. Teams now in our Moreno on the drive, pulls up off the glass. No good. Team that gambles for Yo, that's Matty Ice, boys. Keep you in front and force you to play over the top. And now brought to you by Gatorade. Wolf to all and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Wolf, so a lot of room out to Ice. We've got Z. The Back to Fur. With the great, then it's Porter. And it's Into the corner. In at the five. five seconds on the shot clock. Jazz Porter gotta get got something. Here, so let's catch Screen up. is set. They're gonna have to throw something up. Guys, Defender in his eye. Oh my god. Klansowski. Klansowski coming in the past. Does it. Coach Gives him a six-point lead. Some good individual defenders. If the rest of them just try, Moreno. Kind of Bobbles the ball a little bit. Oh, goes up with the left. Absorbs the con uh, the contact. No foul. Gets it to go. Look at Little Wolf, man. The ball is like twice as big as his head. Here's Little General. Little General. Matty Ice. Reynolds is a pretty good player, man. He's a good post player. I'm just... Ooh, Matty Ice for three. Wet. Oh, baby. Let's go. Seven point lead for the Jazz. Nor did he need it. He buries the three. Moreno again. Behind the back. Over two defenders. And he gets that one to roll in. Moreno playing well. He's got his second basket of the game. Jazz leading by five. Pass to Matt. Back to Matty Ice. He shoots again. Up over the defender. How do you guard that? He's like 7'5". How do you get a hand in that man's face? High up off the glass over the big defender. Oh, bit of a size mismatch here. They're going to probably ISO. They do. Moreno pulls up again. No good. Offensive board. Holy Fook misses the layup. How are you going to do that, Holy Fook? You should be a good scorer. At the, rim, but he does a great the Houston job Rockets with yeah, a missed opportunity the there. When it's really not, he knew exactly Matty how Ice once again on down to Reynolds side. on the block. The double Reynolds team's coming over to Fur. That's a travel. What is this man doing? Oh, my Lord. Here's a look at the three point and two point shot attempt averages. That was last season. Different team. This is like the replacement season. The three point shots. All right, the floor, three minutes and 30 defense, seconds left. And if the Got a few more starters long, coming back into the game. Up, the Rockets the trying to bring it back a little bit. Stealth. Houston. Look at him. Look at him. You can't stay on him. Oh, the move. And one. Stealth with the move. Sniper Cat commits the foul. Oh, my God. Stealth trying to. To capitalize and gets it. The three point play for, the Jazz. for our boy the Stealth. Comes in for Jam. Of course, they say that one of the toughest things about calling a game is balancing pure basketball knowledge with entertainment. What's Cat, Sniper Cat, Cat back in time. the game. A lot of starters back in for both teams. Seven on the shot clock. They got to get something up over to Guy for three. Gets it. Nice three. Seven points again for the Jazz. The Jazz have only scored two points in the paint. They're hitting shots. They're hitting shots. Stealth with the drive and the layup. Oh, he's too good. He's got five. Stealth's only got one assist, man. He should have about five, but the Rockets couldn't hit a damn open shot when he hit the, in that first quarter. Outside Jackson. There's the pick. Boston the guy. Back out to Sniper Cat. 
Screen set, Sniper Cat with the drive. High up off the glass, no good. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to event. And when things started. The alley oop attempt. Oh, another missed alley oop. We need to check on that after this. That, there should not be. Oh, Stealth with an incredible block, but oh, that would have been an insane, insane, insane uh, dunk. Oh my lord. I would have creamed. I would have creamed. Five point lead for the Jazz. The Rockets need to score right here. Ooh, back iron, no good. Yeah, you love the solid. And Ali, oof. You hate is just the inability to finish. You know that's okay. Jackson, even though they miss, on the block. Have to be happy with the shot selection. Back to Sniper Cat, dude. Look at that matchup, Stealth versus Sniper Cat. That is amazing. Feeds it to G. Down to Boston on the block, Jackson. all the way over to Jackson. To Down low to Sniper Cat. Great ball movement from yeah, the Jazz. And, and Sniper really Cat with the easy bucket down low. Here in the second. Rockets trail by seven. The Jazz holding on to this little seven point lead. The pass to the cap. Stealth again with the drive. Pulls up. No good. Defense too good, too strong. And then it all goes wrong from there. The feed to Jackson. Passes it to lights out. It's weird watching these teams play because, well, Shot clock at six. another great steal from Stealth. Able to, he's too tall, man. Stealth is a monster. Over to the he's left so lane. tall and he's playing a guard position. Rebound, See, up. every time, though, nobody can hit a shot off of a pass from Stealth. Right? Houston's just, off. defense is just flat. The pass to can't beat. score anything. If Stealth had a, like, can you imagine if Stealth had a really, really top, like, top tier scorer around him, how good the Rockets would be? Corner three! Oh my god, he hit that? Oh, the Jazz! The 10 point lead. Stealth's on fire. Good pass into the corner. They're looking for the final shot of the quarter. They need something. Stealth with a drive. Up with the left, no! Sniper Cat's defense too much. The Jazz lead by 10 at the half. God damn. Insane corn dog. thank you for the 20 months, bro. Welcome back, BB. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Sniper Cat and the Jazz, too strong. Too good. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. All right, let's check out the highlights. Have we had a crazy dunk in this game? We had almost a near crazy dunk, and then Stealth got a block on him. Utah found themselves in a close game in the first. They got their lead up to as many as eight points in the opening that period. Corner three. They took over the, in the Jazz. Quarter, the Jazz are like exclusively hitting shots from the outside. And looking very the Rockets like are like pretty much exclusively inside the paint. And Shaq, what did you think about what we saw but from the, Utah? But the Jazz, man, they're, they're just hitting too efficient. many shots. Patient to good Look at shots. that. Look at the difference. 38% for the Rockets, 52 for the Jazz. Three Close steals and three blocks to the Rockets. So both teams playing good defense. How about you, Kenny? What did you? Both teams playing good defense, and of so course, the leading now, scorers for both teams: Sniper Cat Kevin and Stealth. And the rest of the 2K crew. All right, second half. Here we go, boys. Still anybody's game. Sniper Cat's players has Sniper Cat's player has the shit. Is that what's Center, going on? He's playing with diarrhea. You know, he's been tonight. he's been here playing pretty well for with, with, with diarrhea. Texas. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him some props. Holy Fook is gonna go off, off the bench. I, here we go. He, he needs to, man. We know he's a good scorer. We know he's capable of it. Utah leading by 10. I need, I need Stealth and Holy well, Fook to be in the game together. Spacing, the but it looks like that's just not how it's, how it's working. To find quality shots. They're very patient and methodical. All right, 10 point game, offense. new quarter, <laughs> sniper cat in and out. Hand. No good. Rockets get another stop. Let's see if they can uh, narrow the deficit. And at the pivot, manning the middle to the right side. Jay, guarded by Jackson. Ooh, I thought he was going to pop that. Over to Fork. Fork is a tiny man, but look at his arms. They're down to his feet. 
Good luck from Fork. Wide open. No good. Nobody's hitting a shot in Houston, man. You got to make shots, Houston, if you're going to win a game. run a half-court offense. A lot of cuts and screens to create their shots. Jackson the Cat. Over to Boston. Boston's been shooting the three ball pretty well. Back to... Oh, no. Sniper Cat. Wide open down low. They don't pass it to him. They got to get a shot off. There's Throws it up, three. Jackson, no good. Damn, Magnum just shoved his ass. You guys see that? No call. All right, Houston, you're getting another chance. Here's Fresh. Fork again in the paint. He's got to get rid of it. Over to Magnum. Back to Stealth, into the corner. Oh, and it's an offensive three, a turnover for the Rockets. What is Houston doing? You can't be doing this, Houston. And this team, in terms of scoring off of turnovers, that, that became the I can't believe he's done this. Really the alley -oop attempt. The attempt. No good again. I feel like there's so many turnovers on these alley -oop attempts. Like how many? Like five or six a game. Pass to Fresh. Down to Fork. To the wing Definitely right a size side. mismatch for Fork and Boston right there. Good screen set. The oh, quick. Fork wide open for three. He hits that one. They needed that. All right. Seven point game. Definitely needed that one. Now he's able to make him pay. To the wing on the left. Here's lights out. Very lights out. AKA Mo Lester Jr. That's a weird nickname for a guy named Mo Lester. Turn off your lights, kids. Well, an I'm in your closet. Magnum, that's a that's foot on the line. It's a long two. Come on, man, you got to be behind the three-point line on that. That's right. The Rockets get another one. Now it's a five-point game. They're bringing it back. Guy wide open, in and out. Sniper Cat comes down the offensive board. And the putback, and that is why Sniper Cat was your guys' Western Conference Player of the Week last week. He's been playing really well. He's great on the offensive side. Great move by Stealth, though. Sniper Cat not able to stop him. And again, it's back to a five-point lead for the Jazz. Utah calls timeout. Indoors with all the switching on defense, it seems like God damn. Has to be I like it. A little back and forth right here from Rimmer. Sniper Cat and Stealth. Becoming even more of a the matchup of the gods. You know, this is a fascinating aspect to me. Wolf is back in. On a player like Draymond Green, coming out of Michigan State, was considered a tweener. Somebody Wolf with the drive, the dish, left hand. Oh, nearly an and, and one. Fur at the line. He averages 5.8 points per game. The Misses the first. The so Gets the heavy. second. The guys who have the kind of lateral Moreno's back in. Holy Fook's back in. But still, Holy Fook and Stealth are not playing together. Looks like Holy Fook is, is essentially the leader of the second the trend, and I don't see it going the, uh, the second squad. The quick passes to the great. The three. Ill advised three. Oh, nearly got it to go. He is not shooting well. What is what is up with him? Why is he shooting that? Man all over him and he shoots a three? Come on, Holy Fook, you gotta be better than that. Third quarter of basketball. Gotta definitely be better than that. Plantsowski around the screen. Oh, he's got a lot of room. Clutch the best of the Back to Sniper Cat. Over to Wolf. Oh, good pass down low. Over to Sniper Cat. Sniper Cat for three. No good. That's a good look, though. Moreno with the drive. Left hand gets fouled. Sniper Cat commits his second foul of the game. Good foul. Make him earn it. With this free throw, we're going to have a four, five point game. I jinxed it. Sniper Cat gifted a sub to uh, Mr. Mexapino. Thank you so much, Sniper Cat. Who missed that three? Come on. Actually, I, I'd rather Houston uh, bring this game back. I want Houston to score. What is, oh, what is this, what is this passing? Ball stolen. No! I'm watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. The awareness from the big man. Zilch, zilch awareness. 
Sniper Cat, thank you so much for gifting that sub, man. How many how many quarter. gifted subs? 122 gifted subs, Sniper Cat? That is ridiculous, man. Holy shit. Thank you so much, bro. A minute 40 left in the third. Ooh, the steal by the Houston Rockets. Myers pushing the tempo. He's going to pull up. Oh, oh, Zabel! Right there to slam it home. We got a three-point game. Houston bringing this one back. Oh, I thought Fur was going to hit it. Down low. Sniper Cat in the paint with the right hand. Gets it to go. Eight points for the quick. He's, he's got eight with five rebounds. Right that means he's already got a double-double with normalized stats, guys. Normalized stats. Screen. Holy Fook with the drive down to... Slim. Oh, the save! Oh, no. Oh, I thought it, I thought it was going to be a fast break, though. Here's clutch. Good stop. It to the quick. Sniper Cat, Three foot ball. on the line, in and Porter out. It in. They play the clock right, they go Sniper Cat's not able to hit his jump shots. Myers for three! Houston brings it back, only down by two. We got a ball game. What is going on here with the Jazz? Chaos Zero, what's up, buddy? Thank you for the prime sub, man. Welcome. I appreciate you supporting the stream, buddy. Good steal by the Houston Rockets. Fast break, one on one. Moreno. Oh, good defense. Not able to get it. Sniper Cat again. They're going to hold for the final uh, shot of the quarter. That was a chance to tie it for Houston. Here's Little General. And there's the pass to the quick. Sniper Cat again. No good. 32-30 at the end of three. The Rockets, after trailing by 10 at the half, bring it back in the third. And this is a close game once again. Woo! Look at that block by Stealth. That dude was going up for some cradle tomahawk shit. I don't know what it is. The up and the, the, I don't know. What do you, what do you call that dunk? When you, when you go up, down, up? I don't know. A chance now I don't play basketball and I've never dunked a basketball my entire life. I should still know it. All right, fourth quarter. Here we go, boys. Two point game. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well contested game. The captain out there with Z, then it's Porter. Then there's Jay, and it's the great in at the two. Woo. So that's who's on the floor Windmill? For the yeah, I guess it was a windmill, sort of. Kind of like a hybrid. To the pace. Oh, that there's pass! Porter. Oh, and my God, that ball. pass! Holy shit! No, pass. I need an instant replay right now. You're not going to instant replay that? You are kidding me. Look at this pass from Holy Fuck. And the finish. Look at this. Drives in. Oh, this is sick. Holy fook. Look at this. Draws two defenders. No look behind the backs. Beautiful pass in the layup. Oh, baby. And we're tied at 32. 32-32. Stealth and holy fuck are both in the game together. I want to see these two just wreak havoc. This is what I've been waiting for. Now the pass to clutch. Six on the shot clock. There's the pick. Klansowski. Molester Jr. in the corner. Great that defense. Houston with a chance to take the lead. Yeah, starting to look like it's taking its toll mentally. He doesn't look like himself. Moreno. Defenders all over him with the right hand. Oh, he's going to go to the line. Shoot two. We know this about jazz head coach. Moreno's got six. And the Rockets take the lead. After trailing by 10 in the second quarter, they battled back. And they now lead this game by two. God damn, this is a game. I'm, I'm excited. We're watching this one. Trans Am 77. Thank you for the prime, somebody. Welcome, man. Thanks for supporting the stream, bro. Zafini. Be the Ooh, Molester Jr. Oh, I thought this he was going to take that three. G. He's been shooting but threes. Guy with some room. He nails it. And, and Utah goes up by one. That's now nine points for G. 
Four and a half minutes left in this game. It is still anyone's. How does that help a coach like Quinn Snyder? Who wants it more? NBA game constantly evolving. In a lot of ways, it's drives, pops, hits. Oh, stealth, you nasty. So that experience can help him think outside the box. And another lead change. G dishes to freak. Puts it up from Burr. No good. Brock with the board. On that one. That is the shot. Oh, but a steal from Utah. Jackson pushing it up. Boston short corner in and out. Oh, Utah wanted that one back. That would have given them the lead. You got to score off the turnover. Stealth with a drive. Dude, I thought he was going to get that to go. Stealth taking some free throws. He's got nine. Top defenses in the league. They don't gamble for steals. Stealth needs two more rebounds for a possible double double. I don't know how many assists he has. I, I don't think. I don't think he has even close to enough for a triple double. Well, just tremendous length on the interior. And he adds on two, and the Rockets lead by three. Is this the Rockets' biggest lead of the game? It might very well be. And it comes with three minutes and 40 seconds left in the fourth. Lester Jr. with the with the moves, the right hand, oh, up and in! The and one, he gets it to go. Are you kidding me? Can he tie this game? He does. Oh my lord, this is incredible. This is incredible. Oh, nearly gets the tip. Got his so his close. Why didn't he just throw he it down? You're Jackson. huge, Brock. Come on. Passes it to lights out. All right. Three minutes, 10 seconds. Down to the block to Boston. Double teams coming. Triple team. Altima Lester Jr. Jackson in the Into corner. the corner. Oh, Brock with the steal. Up to Magnum on the fast break. He's going to take it with the right hand. No good. Defense too good in transition. Way to get back, Utah. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Over to Boston. A little, uh, uh, little traffic. I don't know what's going on here. They're all running into each other. Screen's coming. No screen. Five seconds of the shot clock. Jackson with the drive. The right hand. No good. Oh, but Jackson gets his own board and the put back. To the rim for the what a beautiful, beautiful play! Sticks with it, time. and the Jazz retake the lead. The inside, I mean, he had to get that one up and over the big guy. Has the ability to score against size, and those were crucial. Stealth, looking for an open man. Wait for the screen. The He's gonna drive. To oh, a bad pass stolen by Sniper Cats. Two minutes left in this game. Sniper Cat, the great pass into the corner two. three. No good from Guy. Oh, that was a good, good look. Another chance for the Rockets to retake the lead or tie it. Pass inside to Jen. Corner for the tie. It's good. A minute 49, and we are tied up at 40 apiece. Woo. Back and forth. Back and forth. Set the pick. Lester Jr. to Cat. Looking for the looking for the pick. Five seconds of the shot clock. Stealth's on him. This is a good matchup. Sniper Cat. No! In and out! Great defense by Stealth. He gets the rebound. He pushes it up. He passes it inside and Fork gets fouled. Poor Stealth, man. He cannot get an assist. Fork is gonna shoot two. He hits the first. Gives the Rockets the lead. He is ugly as shit. Might as well call him Gumby. Two point lead for the Rockets. A minute left in this game. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Sniper Cat could be the hero. Boston could be the hero. Pass inside. Stolen by the Rockets. The alley oop attempt is no good. Under a minute left, can the Rockets add to this lead? Ben Magnum, corner, good! Five point lead for the Rockets. 
50 seconds left. Are you kidding me? The Rockets have battled back after being down by 10 at the half. They battle back and take a five point lead with 50.5 seconds left in the game. Magnum does it. Stealth is your player of the game so far. That could change. I'm not gonna count him out yet. 50 seconds is enough time. Stealth has put, he's just, he's a floor general. He's leading this team. The Jazz need a basket. Time is not on their side, but they continue to dribble the ball and dribble the ball. Out to Molester Jr. He's driving with the right hand. Up, high off the glass, no good. Get the offensive board to Sniper Cat, but he's blocked by Brock. Oh no, and they're gonna have to foul. They put Stealth to the line. Oh, they get another opportunity and they blow it. That is no good. Stealth misses one, but gets one to go. Six point lead, 29 seconds. The, the Jazz need to hit threes, they're wasting time. Shoot a three, do something. Jazz, Sniper Cat, ice cold to end this game. Sniper Cat with the drive, gets fouled hard. No flagrant, no flagrant. Good foul by Brock. Sniper Cat's got it. Oh no, the pressure. The pressure was too much, the defense. Too much for Sniper Cat, and the Rockets look like they're gonna be able to hold on to this win. Are you serious? The comeback victory. The comeback victory for your boys in Houston. Oh man, Sniper Cat tried. That was tough. That was tough. Jen gets them both to go, and that's a seven point lead. 13 seconds left. The Houston Rockets outlast the Utah Jazz. Stealth for Sniper Cat. Goddamn. I'm excited to see these two teams play again. This was a really good matchup. Really even matchup, and I like it a lot. Ice, Matty Ice for three, no good. Wouldn't have been enough anyway. The Rockets are gonna hold on. Never mind, they're, <laughs> they're playing some tight defense here. Seven point win for the Houston Rockets over the Utah Jazz. Feels familiar, feels all too familiar, right? Damn, dude. Damn. Hey, that was a good game to watch though. That was a really good game to watch. The Jazz had a 20-point lead in this game. Technically, with, with uh, normalized stats, the Jazz would have had a 20-point lead at some point, and they lost. The choke. The choke. Uh, Kobilla agenda. Thank you for the prime stuff, Kobilla. Appreciate you, man. 92-82. Or, excuse me, 96-82. What the heck? The final. Let's check out the box score. Stealth led the way. 24 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks. He would have had so many more assists if his teammates were hitting shots. Magnum with that just absolute dagger 3 in the corner, 14, 4, and 2. Moreno had 14 in 19 minutes. He also had 2 steals. 12 and 8 for Jen. Fork added 10, 2 and 4. Uh, Zabel had eight, or, uh, 8 points, 10 rebounds. He also had 2 steals. Myers, eight, 8 assists, 4 steals. OJ Brock, 6 steals, 6 blocks. Are you kidding me? This man did it all on the defensive end. That is what you want from a center. Holy Fook, 0 of 6. Didn't score. Good thing his team carried him. The Jazz were led by Guy. He had 18 points. Two rebounds, two assists, a double-double for Sniper Cat. He had 18 points, 10 rebounds, four steals, and two blocks. He was 8 of 22. He did not shoot that well. Molester Jr., 14. 14 rebounds, 12 points, two assists, two steals on four of 16. Yikes. 10 points for Ice. And that's about it. Four steals and two blocks for Klansowski. The Jazz not able to hold on. Damn, boys. Damn. All right. Let's check out the uh, the rest of the day. Simulate through the day. Let's check out the daily view. 
The Hawks and the Cavs. Oh my God. The Cavs put up 143 points. 143 points led by Mr. Toboggan. 30 points, six rebounds, two assists, one steal, two blocks. He was 7 of 14 from the field, 5 of 7 from downtown, and 11 of 12 from the line. Lester had 23 points. He also had three assists and a steal. McBuckets had 19, 4, and 6. Added two steals. 17, 5, and 2 for Aquise. Holiday had 16, Finkelbottom had 14, Cecil had 11, and Konjic, one assist away from a triple-double. 10 points, 15 rebounds, and 9 assists with 2 steals and 2 blocks. The Hawks, led by Saplington, 31 points, 4 rebounds, 7 assists. Hup had 18, 4, and 5, 16, 6, and 4 for La Sousa. La Sousa's back. That was only his second game of the year. He was injured. Uh, Dr. Disrespect, 13, and 7, and 1. He also had a steal and a block and a double-double for Beefy with two blocks. Clippers take down the Heat, 117-95. Led by Awaken, he had 22 points, four rebounds, one assist and a steal. Uh, Bergami, Bergami, something like that. 19 points, five rebounds, four assists, two blocks. 17-7-4 for Haiti Batista, 17-2-5. He had six turnovers. 13 for Manny Rogo, double-double. 10 points, 11 assists, 12 rebounds for Wildman. He also had six blocks. The Heat, led by Pacor with a double-double. 23 points, 11 rebounds, two assists, two blocks. Queen, Michael, Michael Queen, sorry, 15 points, seven rebounds, two assists, three steals. Vikingston with 15 points, three assists, two steals and a block. 10 and seven for Smash. Webster, 10 and seven as well. And the Heat lose to the Clippers. Uh, Magic take down the Celtics. Magic led by Vega, your guys' league leader in scoring. He put 28 up. He also had a rebound and nine assists. Burns, 15 points, eight rebounds, four assists with a block. 14, eight, and one with three blocks from Keen. Lamar had 14 points with two blocks. 11 and nine for Bates. Two quick in bed, eight points, three rebounds, 11 assists. And the Magic win over the Boston Celtics. Jay Wallace, 23 points, one rebound, six assists, two steals, 16 points for Newman, 15 and seven for Lucky. Gambino added 13, three, four, and three. Four blocks and two steals for Hugh Johnson. The Raptors fall to 0 and 9. 0 and 9. They have yet to win. They lose by two to the Wizards. Again, led by Young Diesel. 22 points, three rebounds, five assists, two steals. Howard had 16 and nine, 14, seven and five with three steals and a block for Brumfield. Eclipse 12, two and three. Johnson 10 and seven. Six assists for Rondogs. He had 10 points. The Wizards just way too good, man. Kim Jong Un 27 points, six rebounds, seven assists. Nine of 23 from the field, but it doesn't matter. Mark the Shark had 24, three rebounds, five assists, two steals. 12 and seven for Magnuson. Knight had 12. 10, 10 rebounds for Johnston. Uh, the Rockets and the Jazz, that's what we just watched. Spurs, oh, the Spurs lose by one to the Suns. The Spurs, led by Blastog, who put up a monster double-double. 21, 16, and 3. He also had a block. The only, actually, no, one other block on the team. Chicken Little had 17 points, 3 assists. Bell, 14, and 3. And that is it. 13 boards for Barkley and 14 boards for Jake. The Spurs are beat by Brandon Siesto, who had 18, 6, and 3 with a steal. Fernando Stephenson, 12 points, 14 rebounds, and 4 assists. 12 for Knight. Darb had 10 and 5 with two blocks. And everybody, you know, bench players contributed. Six assists for Nerdorino. Corrupt had three blocks. Everyone did a little bit. Stanley, nine points in 16 minutes. Nice job. The Pacers win their eighth game of the year. They're eight and two. 117-110. The Knicks were led by Blade. He had 21 points, two rebounds, eight assists. 19, 8, and 7 with one steal and three blocks for Kearns. He had another three block game. 13 and 6 for Boner. 13 and 7 for Ken. 13 points for Hitman. Uh, Pacers led by Galactic Gangsta. 30 points. 
Six rebounds, five assists, two steals. Daniel Ty had 20. 18-2-2 uh, two two for Jensen. Fogel, 11-6-4. 11 points for Begich. O'Neal, 10-8-6. Almost snuck a triple-double in there. Three steals, two blocks for Reap. Hornets at Timberwolves. And the Hornets win their, their eighth game of the year. 107-91. T-Wolves were led by Schultz. He had 26 points, eight assists, two steals. 13 points for Andrews. Gronkowski, 12 points, three rebounds, four assists. He also had three blocks and one a steal. Unmod Mini had a hell of a stat line. 10 points, 15 rebounds. Seven assists, three steals, and three blocks. But not enough for his team. George had three blocks. Hornets too strong behind 1A's play of 24 points, 11 rebounds, three assists. 22 and 10 from Sensei, who also had four assists. 18 and 7 for Dover. Palmquist had a double double, 12 and 10. Sangster, 12 points, seven assists, two steals, and two blocks. Goddamn, seven assists for Sullivan O'Neill with nine boards. And Howden also had seven assists. They were just passing dimes all over the place. Trailblazers get the ninth win of the year in a blowout, 120 to 89. Kenny Powers puts up a huge game. 28 points, 13 rebounds, one assist, two steals. Chief had 24 points, eight rebounds, five assists. 15 points for Abbott, 14 for Dip, 13 and seven for Gustafson. Two blocks for Stacker, two blocks for Willmaker, nine boards for Get It. The Thunder, Post Malone, 20 points, six boards, five steals on a block. 20 points for Wood, he also had three steals, two blocks. Westbrook, 10 points, nine and nine and two for Ressner. Damn, damn, seven assists for Church. Thunder just got shut down, man. Blazers are too damn good. Way too good. The Lakers get the win, though, over the Grizz. 125-111. The Lakers, 30, oh my God, Golgi's nip going off once again. 38 points, five rebounds, seven assists, and two steals. He was 10 of 13 from the field, eight of 10 from downtown, and 10 of 10 from the free throw line. He had to, he had to bounce back after that loss, after back-to-back -back losses. He had to bounce back. He had a hell of a game. Harm, 15, five, and three, 15 points for Vandiver in only 19 minutes. 14 and 7 for Hakimi, 11 and 6 for Steelman. He also had three steals. Hakimi had two blocks. Fairlight, double double, 10 and 12 with two blocks. Ruben let, tried to lead the Grizz. 23 points, eight rebounds, three assists, one steal. 21, two, six, and five for Hines. Damn, he was doing it all. Jordan Ames had 15 points, two blocks. Hobbit, 13, one and five. 15 boards for Breath. Ah, oh, Breath just didn't get a. Breath is usually the lead. The look it. That was the reason this team struggled. Look at what happened. Last four games, the last two games, Breath put up 26 or more. And then in this game, he only got six shot attempts, but he did get 15 boards. I don't know. Weird. And that is it for November 5th, 2017, boys. Hot damn. Hot damn. Check out the standings one more time. 9 and 1 Portland Trailblazers. Top of the conference. Dallas Mavericks 7 and 4, two and a half games back. Lakers 6 and 4. Damn, the majority of the teams in the West are pretty bad. The Pacers 8 and 2, the Hornets 8 and 2, 7 and 2. The East. Oh my, it's flipped. The GGBA's conferences are very different than the NBA's. Apparently, the Eastern Conference is the good conference in uh, in the GGBA. Here's your new power rankings. The Portland Trailblazers at the number one spot. The Detroit Pistons, number two. The Brooklyn Nets, number three. The Portland Trailblazers are eight and one in the last month, six and zero oh in the last two weeks. Brooklyn Nets, seven and two this month, six and one in the last two weeks. Philadelphia 76ers are holding in in the fourth spot. Damn, the Brooklyn Nets went up six spots since the last power rankings. And the Bulls dropped by four. After they go one and two in the last week, four and two in the last two weeks. This last week was not good to them. They, they, that was their first two losses. Indiana Pacers dropped. The Washington Wizards go up 14 spots. Three and oh this last week. Boston Celtics go three and oh this week. They drop, they go up 14 spots. 
And the New York Knicks go 4-0 and this week. And they go up 13 spots. So look at that. Just like that, teams are rising. The Minnesota T-Wolves go 0-2. They drop 11 places. And the Toronto Raptors haven't moved. Last place. <laughs> only team was still up without a win. The only team that doesn't even have at least two wins. Come on, Raptors. You're going to get a win eventually. I know you will. Yikes. Yikes.